Hi everybody! So, this is 20 litres of used cooking oil. My neighbour who runs a kitchen lets me have it for 10p a litre. Now they used to give this stuff away because the option was give it away or throw it away. Not anymore, but no point in moaning about that. You're still not paying an absolute fortune for it. 10p a litre? Well, that's going to be the cheapest oil you're going to be able to get anywhere. And of course it has one serious drawback with it. It's disgusting! It's dirty, it's used, it's full of food bits and smells and all kinds of tut. So, but the only use for something like this is to, um, well, purify it, turn it into biodiesel, that kind of thing. And of course that's a great thing to do with it because you're making a fuel, but let's face it, it is a fair bit of tedious mucking about. So if there was an easier way to do it, wouldn't that be really cool? Well, turns out there is! What I've got here is a, a litre of used cooking oil and 125 millilitres, or if you like, an eighth of a litre of water. And to that we add five grams of pork gelatin, which is basically a teaspoonful. So we stick a teaspoon of pork gelatin in there and let that gelatin swell. I'm willing to bet you could use vegetable gelatin. So we stick our five grams in there, give that a bit of time to swell, Heat it until the gelatin is dissolved. Okay, so after I give it a little time to soak, I dissolve the gelatin in the microwave in about three minutes. And what I've got here is some hot gelatin, and what you do with that is pour it into the oil while mixing. And when you've done that, all you do is leave it for the gelatin to set. I mean, stick it in the fridge overnight or something like that. Don't trouble yourself. But just leave it for the gelatin to settle out and for it to set. So I've poured it into this jar so we can see what's happening. You can see the gelatin sinking to the bottom there and carrying all the impurities. This is a mixture of gelatin and impurities that will take a little while to separate out. And here at the top, you can see the amber liquid. So we leave that for a day to let that all settle out. So the next day we have gone from this to this. This smells of burnt food, it smells of oil. That's amazing actually. Okay, so cleaning the oil is part one. Part is based on UK patent 2384004 and that's the link to it. Uh, what this guy did was just astonishingly simple, hey? All he did was mix the vegetable oil with paraffin in a ratio somewhere between 50% right the way down to 10%. It depended on the travel, on the conditions. It was more paraffin in the uh, winter or less paraffin in the summer, but he did that whole range and got it to actually work. Now he stuck it in a Peugeot 205 diesel, ran the thing for 3,000 miles, no hiccups, no problems, no emissions beyond a diesel, which was amazing really. So if you want to check it out, then grab that patent and have a quick look at it because that's the patent that this is based on. But it's dead simple. All you do is take your cleaned vegetable oil and chuck some paraffin in there and you should have a diesel substitute according to the patent. Now when you think about that, of course, if you're making biodiesel, you already have to clean the uh, waste vegetable oil. Remember, we're paying about 10p a litre for that. Cleaning it turns out breeze, mix up some gelatin and you've got clean um, vegetable oil. It's amazing, actually. Then, of course, you piddle around with um, sodium hydroxide and you've got to buy some methanol and you get some glycerin as your waste product and so on and so on. And this one, you get a little cake of jelly you can basically chuck in the bin. And you add this, the same you would as methanol. Now I found methanol at 165 a litre and the cheapest I could find this was 195 a litre. So pretty much comparable in terms of costs, but the effort involved is just ridiculous. I mean, there's no effort involved. Mix some some jelly, leave it for a day, pour off the cleaned oil and some paraffin. Done. The other one, there's an awful lot of tedious mucking around. Okay, so that being said, We'll add some paraffin to this and let's give it a go and see what it burns like. So to test this, what I've got is this thing. This is one of those really cheap Chinese kerosene heaters, kerosene stoves, that everybody tells me about that I should go and buy one. So of course, I went and bought one because I thought I'm going to have a look at this. It cost me £17 and it's pretty similar to a lot of the stuff we've been making and 17 quid you can't fall off, can you? But anyway, we're going to try our bio 
biodiesel in this kerosene stove and see how it goes. Okay, I got it seated properly and we're getting a beautiful blue flame all the way around. Turned it up a bit so you can see that it's still on and it's uh, smokeless, it smells of nothing, beautiful blue flame, and that's our biodiesel. So it's 90% waste vegetable oil, 10% paraffin is what I actually put in there. It's doing a fine job. We obviously need to test it over a period of time, but according to the patent, uh, 3,000 miles were driven on this in a Peugeot, which is pretty damned impressive. And if you're thinking about um, fuel oils and making your own biodiesel, which I say is a bit of a muckabout, then um, waste vegetable oil mixed with a little bit of paraffin seems to do a treat. All you have to do is clean the oil first. Now, you don't get this waste vegetable oil for free anymore. But if you do have a word with a nice friendly restaurant owner and you're willing to pay 10 to 20 pence a litre, then you're going to get what you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.